One of my favorite all-time movies was The Matrix. I gotta love it, man. It changed my life, changed the way I see things. And uh, ever since that movie, I haven't seen this word the same. Operations with matrices, or matrix as we all know it. Matrix is basically a collection of data points. All right, and what we can do with that collection is we could add them, subtract them, multiply them, all sorts of things to help us solve higher level problems, all right? Let's get in it together. The original Matrix, prior to Keanu Reeves, wow, I know Kung Fu. Before he ever said that, these matrices were around hundreds and hundreds of years before him. So Keanu, while I'm a fan, please take note. This is the OG, or the OM, if you will. So let's talk about it. Operations with matrices, yay math! This is how it goes. So let's say you have a two by two matrix. Let's do like one, two, three, four. We can call this matrix A, okay? Two by two meaning rows by columns. Two by two. Two rows, two columns, okay? And uh, we're welcome to add that to a second matrix. Let's call it B. Let's go negative one, six, negative two, and five. All right, so if we wanted to do A plus B, you probably guess how this works. Uh, trust your judgment, trust your intuition, that if you're gonna add these two, that every number in the appropriate slot would combine, and that would be the new value of that resultant matrix. So in this sense, A plus B, the one combines with negative one, both at the top left, and that results in the number zero. Two adds with six, that's eight. Three adds with negative two, that's one. And four adds with five, that's nine. All right? So that's the result of adding two matrices. It also begs the question, can you add two matrices that are not of the same dimension? Let's say, for example, we're going to go over here and say that B was now five, eight over here. Could you do A plus B in this case, Keanu? No, you can't. You can, it doesn't work, because basically the five has no pair to add to. So to add matrices, to subtract matrices, we need to have them be the same dimension. That's important. Okay, but we can do is we can do uh, other operations. We can go like something like that. That works. This is called a scalar. You know, you scale the matrix up or down. Um, let's see what that would look like. Okay. A minus two times this, all right? So let's put the first one down. One minus two times negative one, all right? A lot of people, when they're starting the matrix operations out, they actually put the math first, and then in the next round, they'll come up with the answer. I think it's a good idea to keep it organized and prevent the small mistakes. Small mistakes happen all the time here, right? And it's, it may happen with me too, so just, Look out for me, okay? Um, I'll try to do this so myself. Let's try this one. Two minus two times six. I'm gonna write it out. Two minus two times six. Stay with it, easel. Easy, easel. And then this is three minus two times negative two. And this is four minus two times five. Let's rock through it. One minus two times negative two is positive two. So this is one plus two, that's three. 2 minus 12, negative 10, stay. 3 plus 4, 7. 4 minus 10, negative 6, all right? So we're welcome to do these types of matrix operations as well. And uh, Even something like this. Whatever matrix A is, three would distribute to every single term. So if you had your matrix A, we called it one, two, three, four to make it simple. Just again, intuitively, the three would apply to everything inside there. That's three, six, nine, 12. That's the result of multiplying matrix A by a certain scalar three. All right, so stick with us. Uh, next video, we're gonna do multiplying matrices. It's actually a little more challenging and a little more number game type thing, I guess. Thanks for watching. Yay, Matt!